Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It is late morning actually, and about 10:45. <laughs> I am going to buy something um, there that side for grandparents' uh, lunch, and uh, I will be reading God's word here first before going there. And it is a uh, wonderful wonderful day hallelujah thank you father for this bright sunny morning bright sunny day <laughs> oh yes praise the lord and we glorify you oh god you're worthy of glory and honor and praise father yes you're so good lord you're so awesome you're so wonderful hallelujah oh thank you god um my my original plan was actually to read god's word here in this greenery part but because that there is a uh, look at that maybe we are not allowed to go inside because we are going to do something about that i suppose so and so um i am here look at this my place <laughs> and look what i've got i found this beautiful flowers wow thank you lord purple light purple lavender and also this one look at that it's really a beautiful flower hallelujah thank you jesus oh god praise the lord and we glorify you oh god you're worthy of glory and honor praise father this is so good lord it's so awesome it's so wonderful oh hallelujah god thank you we praise the lord and we glorify you oh god oh i found this <laughs> yes i have this card mr bean mr bean dollar yeah, actually mom grace gave this to me when i went to the house last sunday and uh, she gave me five pieces of this so about 15 dollars so i think i have to go to first and buy something not a lot of people there yet so i go and hallelujah thank you father for all the blessings lord that you've given to me oh god hallelujah let's go and go to the place and by the Mr. Bean. <laughs> um, this is where I send money. This is the changing money. This is where I send money. And now they are close, I think. So let's go and change this with Mr. Bean. Hallelujah. Yes. It's free. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. This is a uh, um, Chinese shop. This is Mr. Bean. Uh, this is Mr. Bean. Green Mr. Bean. Ah, normal sugar, yeah, normal. Thing not enough, so I have to change it. It's Monkey Festival. Look at that, lots of monkey. Yeah. Seven. Seven choices here. It's cool, right? Yes. Mr. Bean. I want the pearl taro, please, Auntie. Pearl taro, guys. Look. That's what I'm going to order. Taro, you want coal or warm? I want coal, please. How much sugar? Ah, uh, yes, 50. How many? One only. One is five dollars enough already. Ah, uh, but then, okay. You give me change for this? No, right? No change, man. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, this one and also chocolate. The chocolate. I think what I'm going to get. This one chocolate, Yes, please, Auntie. Yes, can. That's one. I think it needs more, is it? Not enough? I don't know, I have to keep that. Okay, let's see first. This is... No more sugar, huh? For 50, 50 percent. Yes. Yes. I don't have 30 cents, I only have this 50 dollars. 
I want get one too. It's Chinese. Chinese. It's Arab. It's the green. So yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank Honey, yes, please. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. This is green drinks. Honey with grass. <laughs> How much, Shanti? 150. Oh, 150. Okay, I'll take later on. I still have this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord and we pray for you, oh God. Oh, what's your glory and honor? Praise you, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful snack that I'm going to have. It's free. <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful sunny day today. And how about that? Those are the people. Oh yes. Ah, let's go to my place. Hallelujah. God, thank you. It is so convenient. But yes, yeah, so so good. Hallelujah. Look at that. My drinks <laughs> and my snack. Look at the beautiful clouds, fluffy and white. Look at those. You can see this from the park as well, isn't it? Park in the Topaya Park. Which I always read God's word. Lots of birds here. Look at that. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord and we glorify you, oh God. Your words, your glory and your name, praise Father. This is so good, Lord. You're so awesome, so wonderful. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. God, thank you. Someone put this in Bible. Bible house, Singapore. <laughs> someone put this someone put this in here while I went to buy food. This is good. Anyway, let's go. Red God. Hallelujah. Oh God, it's so good, Lord. It's so wonderful. That's so awesome for the God. It is so important to read God's word first before eating anything. <laughs> because you know why? The word of God says here, Jesus said that. Jesus answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And it says here that, For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, it's so important to read God's word first before that drinks. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord. We glorify you, O God. A worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. It's so, so good, Lord. You're so awesome. You're so wonderful. Yes, Lord, you're the first and the last. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. He was the first. Oh, yes. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was the dead. And he came to life. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, you are alive forevermore. He knows our works. Yes, Lord. Let's be in faithful. Hallelujah. He knows our poverty, we should endure. He knows our tribulation, we should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master. Yes, Lord. He who has an ear, let him hear. He who has an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit says to the churches, He who overcomes is eternal life and 
The crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. You are so, so good, Lord. You are so awesome. You are so wonderful. Father, God, thank you that in you nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, oh God, and we praise you, Father God. Father God, as you read your word, help us to understand, oh Father. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O oh Father, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Come, mga mahal. Let's continue on reading the word of God now in the book of uh, Romans chapter 13. Yesterday we read chapter until chapter 12 and now let's read chapter 13 hallelujah yes i want to welcome you precious holy spirit come holy spirit fall on me now i need your anointing come in your power i love you holy spirit you're captivating my soul and every day I grow to love you more Hallelujah I'm reaching for your heart You hold my life in your hands Drawing me closer to you I feel your spirit renewed Hallelujah I feel my spirit renewed Nothing compares to this place Where I can see you face to face Hallelujah Father God Yes I worship you in spirit and in truth. Yes, Lord. I worship you, Lord, and in spirit and in truth. Lord Jesus himself said that those who worship God will spirit, will worship God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord and we glorify you, O God. Precious Holy Spirit, again, I acknowledge your presence in this Place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Chapter 13 of Romans. Respect for authority. Everyone must submit to governing authorities. For all authority comes from God, and those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. So anyone who rebels against authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And they will be punished. For the authorities do not strike fear in people who are doing right, but in those who are doing wrong. Would you like to live without fear of the authorities? Do what is right and they will honor you. The authorities are God's servants, sent for your good, but if you are doing wrong, of course, you should be afraid, for they have the power to punish you. They are God's servants, sent for the very purpose of punishing those who do what is wrong. So you must submit to them, but uh, not only to avoid punishment, but also to keep a clear conscience. Pay your taxes, pay your taxes too, for these same reasons. For government works need to be paid. They are serving God in what they do. Give to give to everyone what you owe to them. Pay your taxes and government fees to those who collect them and give respect and honor to those who are in authority. Love fulfills God's requirements. Owe nothing to anyone except for your obligation to love one another. If you love your neighbor, you will fulfill the requirements of God's law. For the commandments say, you must not commit adultery, you must not murder, you must not steal, you must not covet. These and other such command commandments are summoned up in one 
um, summon up in this one command, commandment, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no, okay, love does no wrong to others. So love fulfills the requirements of God's laws. Wow. Yes, indeed. Because if we love others, we love everyone, we obey the uh, authorities and we love everyone, then we will be able to fulfill the God's law. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And let's carry on reading. This is all the more urgent for you. This is all the more urgent for you to know how late it is. Time is running out. Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes and put on the shining armor or right living. Because we belong to the day, we must live decent lives for all to see. Don't participate in darkness of wild parties and drunkenness or on sexual promiscuity and immoral living or in quarreling and jealousy instead clothe yourself with the presence of the lord jesus christ and don't let yourself think about ways to indulge your evil desires chapter 14 of romance the danger of criticism Accept other believers who are weak in faith and don't urge with them about what they think is right or wrong. For instance, one person believes it's all right to eat anything, but another believer with a sensitive conscience will eat only vegetables. Those who feel free to eat anything must not look down on those who don't, and those who don't eat certain foods must not condemn those who do, for God has accepted them. Who are you to condemn someone's, someone else's servants? Their own, master, their own master will judge whether they stand or fall. And with the Lord's help, they will stand and receive his approval. In the same way, some think one day is more holy than another day, while others think every day is alike. You should each be fully convinced that whichever day you choose... Thank you, Father. So you should be fully be convinced that with every day you choose where am I? I I lost Who are you to condemn someone else's servants? Their own master will judge whether they stand or fall. And with the Lord's help they will stand and receive his approval. In the same way, some think one day is more holy than another day. While others think every day is alike, you should each be fully convinced that whichever day you choose is acceptable. Those who worship the Lord on the special day do it to honor Him. Those who eat any kind of food do so to honor the Lord, since they give thanks to God. Since they give thanks to God, sorry about that. <laughs> Okay. Since they give thanks to God before eating, and those who refuse to eat certain foods also want to please the Lord and give thanks to God. Indeed. Hallelujah. And so, for we don't live for ourselves or die for ourselves. If we live, it's to honor the Lord. And if we die, it's to honor the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Christ died and rose again for this very purpose, to be to be Lord both of the living and the dead. So why do you condemn other believers? Why do you look down on other believers? Remember, we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For the scriptures say, As surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bend to him to me, and every tongue will confess and give praise to God. Hallelujah. Yes, each of us will 
will give a personal account to God. So let's stop condemning each other. Decide instead to live in such a way that you will not cause another believer to stumble and fall. I know and I am convinced on the authority of the Lord Jesus that no food in and of itself is wrong to it. But if someone believes it is wrong, then for that person it is wrong. And if another believer is distressed by what you eat, you are not acting in love if you eat it all. Don't let your eating ruin someone for whom Christ died. Then you will not be criticized for doing something you believe is good. Yeah. For the kingdom of God is not matter of what we eat or drink, but of living a life of goodness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Wow, this is a powerful revelation again. Thank you. And if you serve Christ with this attitude, you will please God and others will approve of you too. So then, let us aim for harmony in church and try to build each other up. Don't tear apart the work of God for what you eat. Remember, all foods are acceptable, but it is wrong to eat something if it makes another person stumble. Mm. It is better not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything else if it might cause another believer to stumble. You may believe there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with what you are doing but keep it between yourself and God. Blessed are those who don't feel guilty for doing something they have decided is right. They have decided is right. But if you have doubts about whether or not you should eat something, you are sinning if you go ahead and do it. For you are not following the convictions. Oh. If you do anything you believe is not right you are sinning because you are not following the conviction of what you received from the Lord pleasing a living to please others we will read this tomorrow hallelujah thank you father for again for what we read today and Lord help us again to understand as we precious Holy Spirit as we meditate and read again help us to understand more reveal to us tomorrow oh, father God Lord thank you father God Lord in Jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen and amen hallelujah come mga mahal let's confess in the mouth <laughs> the the word is near to your mouth and in your heart what is the word of that is the word of faith which we preach that if you confess that your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Father God, yes, we believe and receive that Jesus Christ rise, died, and rose again. And thank you, we accept you, Lord Jesus, as our personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. We confess with our mouth and we believe in our hearts in jesus mighty name we believe it lord and receive it father amen and amen thank you mga mahal for reading god's love letter with me may the lord bless you and keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and always remember that jesus loves you goodbye god bless and take care let's read again tomorrow bye hallelujah thank you father